doing can seem like it's setting the groundwork for something and it's kind of given like this where the kind of the whole toolkit approach comes in because it's kind of let's give you the tools you need whether that's from a content and a brand perspective or whether that's from a digital strategy um and kind of more kind of health check um perspective it's kind of like let's let's arm people with these tools so that they can go forward and do things so we want to really um it's so cliche the word empower but um yeah we want to give people we want to um make sure that people feel confident in using these things going forward rather than I hate the idea of a strategy that just sits in a drawer and nobody ever comes back to. Again, that's kind of where we're really trying to get away from it. We're trying to make everything really practical, really easy to understand um, and give people um, really actionable steps um, that they can they can approach themselves. And I think like we we really meet we really meet people where they are. And I think to kind of, you know, we've both been in businesses where thousands of pounds have been spent on tens of thousands of pounds spent on pieces of consultancy work that end up just being too big a jump in one go it's like this kind of it becomes overwhelming for the team and everyone's kind of going well that's great but we've got a day job today we've got a product launch coming up and we've got this that and the other we can't stop and redo that and so we're much more focused on you know most of the clients we work with are, are kind of either sort of business owners themselves or kind of small marketing teams where everyone's really a generalist and we're trying to bring a little bit of that specialist knowledge. So if we're working with you on um, a content strategy, you know, we'll deep dive on that for you. It will give you like something you can use in like a checklist and, you know, something that you can actually, it's a, it's a manageable step from where you are now to where you want to be. Not here's how you try and be, I don't know. I used to have a sales director who was obsessed with Land Rover and he was constantly short, you know, sending me things on oh, Land Rover. I've done this, Land Rover, I've done that. And I'm going, we've got a 24 person team. And their budget's about 40 times what mine is. Like, we can't do that. But like, what's 1% of it that we can deliver and like try and move in that direction? I think it's yeah, also about like as well, that. just giving like people that. a fresh perspective because you can have really experienced people on in-house team who do, to be honest, feel a bit frustrated because they are just so caught up in the day to day. And it might just be a project that's got them bogged down or, um, you know, one example on the content side is just like, a piece of writing that had so many people in that document and had so many different comments and all with their own takes that the person who's trying to pull it all together is just tearing their hair out. So it could be that kind of just a fresh perspective on things as well. It's it's funny because like marketing is one of those few verticals that everybody seems to think that they can be a marketing expert and they don't even do it intentionally. You know, I, I, I'll go into, I've, I've talked to lots of teams, same as you guys do. And the CEO's got one view of things. Then you've got the sales team have another view on things. And, and everybody's so busy trying to tell the marketing team what to do. Sometimes it just takes, I think it, it's quite useful to have that marketing function outsourced because then you're not beholden to the rest of the team and you can just deliver on what you're paid for. But even that can, can cause sort of conflict within the business in terms of, oh, well, I know we brought you in to do this, but we've asked you to achieve that and, and you haven't done it. Well, yeah, because the brief was, <laughs> the brief was this over here and you've, you've tried to metamorphose this into a, into an actual beast and that's not what we agreed to. Um, so it's, it's, I don't see that happening with many other verticals other than maybe the development team or you know, if I, if I work with product teams and, and dev teams certainly gets labored with that same problem is like, everybody's got an opinion on the product. Why haven't you delivered what everybody wanted? What's well, this isn't, you know, development by consensus it is what's right for the customer. 